Thank you so much for having us. And we're very happy to be here. Excited for all of you that are with us today or watching the recording later. Um, so as um, Colleen just mentioned, Lauren and I, we are quite seasoned in very diverse areas. My background is in business and high ticket sales, online coaching and online marketing strategy. Her background is actually in aerospace. She was building and designing rockets for 11 years, um, and she got into the world of AI many years ago. Um, so she's been down this road for a while. And it was about two years ago, um, we've, we've been best friends for about four years now, but when ChatGPT came out on the scene, we started having very long conversations about how the accessibility of this new tool was gonna change the paradigm of business. And we could see the future. We could see how this was going to impact entrepreneurs. And we got really excited about the possibilities. So we decided to leave our careers and also leave our homes and have been traveling the world for the last year and a half, building this beautiful business together, supporting entrepreneurs and leveraging these tools. So we're very, very excited to share with you today um, what we've built and what we've learned over this incredible journey so far. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, for those of you that are here live, we're actually going to be sharing resources that we demo for you in the chat at the end of the session. Um, so you will be getting those. Um, and yeah, and we'll be able to answer any questions at the end as well. If questions come up throughout the, um, the presentation, please feel free to drop those in the chat and we'll get back to those at the end of the presentation. All right. So first I want to talk about the dream of most impact-driven entrepreneurs right? Oftentimes we want to do less of what drains us and more of what we love, right? We got into entrepreneurship because we're passionate and we want to create a lifestyle that feels really great. And we want to be able to do it in a way that saves time, makes a big impact, but also earns us money, right? However, it can be really tough because oftentimes as an entrepreneur, we wear all the hats, uh, we get pulled into mundane day-to-day -day tasks and we waste time doing things that honestly we'd rather not be doing. Some of the other challenges we've seen with a lot of the entrepreneurs we work with are um, challenges generating consistent lead generation, consistent revenue, having deep clarity around their niche and also their messaging to attract those dream clients that they really love working with. And sometimes as entrepreneurs, we even take on clients that we don't want to be working with because we need the revenue, right? Or we might veer off path from a business strategy that we have in mind that we want to do, but instead we get stuck on a hamster wheel, right? Doing these things that are further from what we truly want. And one day we might wake up and ask ourselves, like, how did I even get here? You know, um, I've been an entrepreneur for 17 years and I can honestly admit that I've been there too. I've experienced all of those things. So I truly get it. And this is why I'm so excited. And the other Lauren is so excited to be able to share these tools and strategies with you because they are absolute game changers. Okay. There's a shift that's happening right now with the introduction of AI for business. And it's a tool that we can leverage to help us get great clarity and also great confidence very quickly. And it can help us fill gaps in our business clarify your ideal client, your content and your messaging, help you brainstorm ideas, and even support you strategically in your business, like being a strategy coach for you. So one of our absolute favorite quotes is by Eleanor Beaton. And she says, money and attention flow to the place of greatest clarity. I'm going to say that again. Money and attention flow to the place of greatest clarity. And so that's exactly what we're going to be diving into today, right? Leveraging AI as a tool to get clarity quickly to attract more of the clients that you love to work with. So we're going to be showing you a few things. First, we're going to help you deeply understand your ideal client so you can market more effectively. We're going to help you understand how to clarify your messaging so you can empathize and really appeal right? Magnetize your target market. And we're also going to show you how to gain deep insights that help differentiate you from others in the industry. So first, how do we get very niche specific output from AI, right? That's really relevant to you and your business. 
Well, the other Lauren is going to start by showing you the foundational prompt that will give AI all of the context that it needs to get very focused, niche specific output that you'll be able to use in your business strategy and also your marketing efforts. All right, so I'm gonna hand it over to the other Lauren. Can everybody hear me okay? All right, great. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Oh, I clicked the whiteboard. <laughs> Share a screen. Uh, do you want to continue? I want to continue. Share my screen. Okay. All right. That's the one. Okay. So this is the first resource that we are going to be sharing with you today. This is something that we do with all of our clients. When we're working with AI, the reason that a lot of people struggle to get really great output is because they're not putting in the right information for AI to understand who they are, what they do, who they serve, like all of those things. And so they get this kind of generic output or the output can be very, very hit or miss. So this is really the foundation. And so I'm sure most people here on the call are familiar with the transformation statement. It goes like this. I help ideal client go from pain points to desired outcomes, right? So this is the, we've actually found this is the perfect foundational prompt to give AI because it gives it a huge amount of context about what you do, who you serve, what they're struggling with. And so it can suddenly give you much better output. So how do we get a really great transformation statement? Now, luckily we have AI to help us create our transformation statement. So we'll just go over the legend really quickly because all of the prompts that you need are right here and they are very, very just copy paste, fill in a couple of blanks. So instructions are gonna be in plain black text. Examples are in light gray. The actual prompts are highlighted in this light yellow color. And the red is the part of the prompt that you fill in. So we scroll down here. And the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna get ChatGPT to really understand who our ideal client is. So I'm going to take this first prompt, which basically says, I'm a job title. So you fill in your job title. Don't be creative here. Just be very clear and straightforward. I teach or I help, you can edit this a little bit to suit your needs. I teach ideal client how to achieve desired outcomes. Can you describe my ideal client profile? And down here, now everything that's highlighted in yellow is the prompt itself. So we're giving ChatGPT everything that we want to pull into the conversation to get this full profile of our ideal client. So I am just going to highlight this prompt right here, go all the way down to where it ends, which is right about, oop, right about there copy it. And I'm going to hop over into chat GPT, paste it there. Now I had all those blanks and inside of this worksheet, I've actually filled out an example right here so that you can use this for reference. And I'm going to paste it over the top part. So I'll hit send. And while chat GPT is answering, take a look at what I put in. So, oh, it, um, it actually didn't hop over. Oh, let's share see. Whole screen. Oh, let me redo my share. So share screen. How do I, I don't see that screen for my whole screen. Ah, that might be why. Advanced basis. Let's see. All I right. just have to pop over. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop over. And we're going to go to chat GPT in here. Okay, perfect. Okay. So let me go back into the one you can't see oh, and grab this. Okay. All right. Back into chat GPT. So here's my prompt. Hit send. So this is what I put into the prompt. I'm an online business coach. I teach high ticket online coaches, consultants, and creative agency owners who are in the low six figures and mostly women, how to use AI tools like chat GPT and Claude to clarify their offer and messaging by deeply understanding their ideal client and positioning their offer to align it with the desired results of their ideal clients so they can increase their sales conversion rate, generate more leads, and increase their cash flow. Can you describe my ideal client profile? So if we go down here, ChatGPT is now loading up the chat with our full ideal client profile. So we have the demographic information, so the age range, gender, now, not all of these will apply. It just depends on what you do. For example, marital status, in our case, doesn't really apply. 
But if you are a divorce attorney or a relationship coach, marital status might matter a lot for your ideal client, right? Family size, education level. Then we get into the psychographic information. So personality traits, values, attitudes, lifestyle, behavior. Coming down here, we're getting a little bit more interesting. So consumer behavior, we're getting into their purchasing habits. So they invest in high quality proven solutions and they prefer value over cost. Right. All of these things are really good to know. Brand preferences, so on and so forth. Needs and challenges, which we're going to go deeper in just a second on that. Their goals and aspirations. So both their short-term and long-term goals. Communication preferences. This is really good to know if you do any kind of email marketing or if you, depending on where it is that you advertise and market. Um, knowing about their frequency of communication. So how much, like how often to communicate with them cultural and social factors, legal and ethical considerations, right? And when you do this for yourself, you can take a little bit more time to read through it. But I'm gonna hop back over into our worksheet. What you can do now is you can copy and paste everything that ChatGPT just wrote into your worksheet. And we encourage you to read through it, make any little edits where you need to. And also anything you think is really important or really jumps out at you, just highlight that in yellow so you can really make this worksheet your own. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper and we're going to start looking at the pain points. So this is the prompt that you will copy and paste into chat GPT. And this is my example that I've already filled out right here. So I'm going to copy this and go back into chat GPT, paste it. So I said, yes, that's my ideal client. What do you think are their pain points and challenges when it comes to growing their business, both professionally and personally? please state both obvious and non-obvious answers. Now, this is a prompt I really love asking for both obvious and non-obvious because it's in the non-obvious that you're asking chat GPT to like dig deeper and go below the surface, right? And that's where the most interesting stuff tends to come out. So we have the obvious pain points about client acquisition and retention, scaling their business, marketing and brand differentiation. The non-obvious they're overwhelmed with options. The maintaining work, uh, work quality while scaling can, can be difficult. Also building a supportive network, financial management. And then we get into their personal challenges. So work-life balance, stress and burnout, and then non-obvious pain points in their personal life, imposter syndrome, a resistance to delegation, adapting uh, leadership styles, emotional attachment to business decisions. Okay. So now all of this is content and marketing gold, right? So you can copy and paste all of this. So you'll just copy all of this and you can paste it right into your worksheet right here under the pain points list. And again, just like with the ideal client profile, we encourage you to read through this really carefully, highlight anything that really jumps out at you in yellow. Okay. Now we're moving on to the desired outcomes. So what do you think are the desired outcomes when it comes to to put scaling their business and creating efficient systems, both professionally and personally? So I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to paste this into chat GPT. Okay, so obvious ones are increased revenue, streamlining operations, having a scalable business model, strong brand recognition and expanded market reach. And then non-obvious things are predictable business performance. So this one is huge. This is about consistency, right? Innovative service offerings, sustainability practices, leadership development. Then we get to their personal desired outcomes with the obvious and then also the non-obvious. And same thing here when ChatGPT is done, just like with those pain points, you can copy and paste all of these desired outcomes, just copy and paste them over here into your worksheet where you have your list and you can highlight them in yellow, okay? So now we're ready to move on. So now basically what we've done is we have a chat in ChatGPT that is this really rich goldmine of information about our ideal client. We have fully defined who they are, 
We've fully defined what their challenges and pain points are, and we've really gone deep onto their desired outcomes and results. Now, it's a lot of information. You might have seen ChatGPT putting out all this text, so it doesn't make for a great prompt. So it's the transformation statement where we're going to synthesize all of that together and get one, it's going to be fairly chunky, but one nice prompt that brings all of this information together. We can use this again and again, and we'll I'll demo in a minute how you can use this in one really cool way. So we're going to take this. Now, if ChatGPT missed anything, the prompt goes like this. What's missing from the list of pain points is ChatGPT missed anything, just fill it in here. If it didn't, then just delete the sentence. What's missing from the de desired outcomes is, and then list anything that's missing there. If it missed nothing, then just delete these sentences because you don't need them, okay? So with all of those biggest pain points and desired outcomes in mind from this conversation, I'm asking it to create the transformation statement. And down here, we're going to put your specific solution because we really want this built into the transformation statement. So I'm gonna copy this. Um, actually, I have an example right here. So I'm going to copy this example right here. And I'm gonna paste it. And I'm actually going to update this just a little bit. Um, so focus on, I'm gonna put this in here. You went to the wrong chat GPT. Oh no, I went to the wrong chat GPT again. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it in the right chat GPT. And I'm gonna update that just a little bit. I'm gonna tell it to focus on. So I'm gonna tell it to focus on AI tools like ChatGPT and Claude, kind of everything I said before, clarifying their messaging, deeply understanding their ideal clients so they can optimize their offer and increase their sales conversion rate. And we're gonna ask it to make it about eight to 10 sentences long because we really wanna capture everything, right? So this is going to kind of like distill down to the very essence of what it is that we want ChatGPT to do for us. Okay. And how critical would you say it is to use the paid version of ChatGPT? For this, it's maybe a little bit less critical. Um, the paid version of ChatGPT is definitely going to give you a better response and just in general, whenever you use it. We don't really play around with the free version very much. And my one concern with the, like the limitation of the free version is it doesn't have as big of a memory as the paid version of ChatGPT. So it might forget things that you said earlier in the chat, like when we were asking for the ideal client profile and all those pain points, because that was like farther up. So it might lose that, but try it, give it a try, see how the output is. And if you don't like it, then yeah, you can always do the paid version. Actually, I think that you can also use Claude, like Claude has a free version that I think is, might be smart enough to do it. Yeah. But yeah, you can try the free version. And it'll probably do okay. Okay. So now we have our transformation statement. So it's reiterating, I help ambitious female coaches, consultants, and agency owners who are currently stuck in the low six figures, overwhelmed by options. And it kind of, so it lists the pain points here. And I guide them from a state of inconsistent revenue and manual time-consuming processes, et cetera, et cetera. And all the desired outcomes are here. Okay. So now what I highly recommend you do is you copy this and save it somewhere because you'll use this all the time. Okay. And we actually have down here in your transform transformation statement worksheet, you can just save it right here. And we also recommend you highlight it in just this light green color because that makes it very easy to find for later use. All right. Now comes one of the fun parts we get to have ChatGPT act as our ideal client. So this is super cool. One of the things that AI is really good at is it can take on any perspective that you ask it to. I'm sure that we've all seen those prompts now where you're telling it to act like a business coach or act like a marketing expert. Well, when we give it our transformation statement, we can tell it, act like my ideal client before you've heard of me, before you found my solution yet, and I want to talk to you, okay? That's basically what this prompt is. So I'm going to take this right here, take this transformation statement, right? It's the first part of this prompt that we're filling in. So I'm going to hop over, I'm gonna hop into this chat GPT that everybody can see. I'm gonna paste that there. And then I'm gonna grab the rest of my prompt 
which basically says, you're my ideal client. I want to talk to you. And my first question is, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. I don't want ChatGPT to respond in bullet points. So I'm going to take that out. And we have some questions for you, some example ICA interview questions. So question number one is, what makes getting help with pain point a priority for you right now? So I will just paste that right there. And inside of pain point, I'm going to say scaling your business. Okay, so it's a pri priority for me now because I've reached a point where I simply can't grow any further on my own. Despite having a solid client base and a good reputation, my revenue has plateaued. I find myself overwhelmed with day-to-day -day tasks that consume all my time, right? So this is telling us in a very kind of empathic way so that we can really understand like what our ideal clients are experiencing and help us clarify our messaging. So I see my peers utilizing new technologies and strategies to scale up. And I realize that if I don't adapt and expand, I risk falling behind. Okay. When you do this for your business, you'll get some really clear insights into what's going on in the lives of your ideal clients. All right. Next question. If you could wave a magic wand and create a course coaching program or consulting relationship that delivered everything that you need, what would it include? How would it be structured? And what would the time commitment be? So I'm going to copy this one and paste it into chat GPT. And I'm going to say, if you could create a course, a slash coaching program. So my ideal course would be meticulously designed to cater to my specific needs as a growing business owner, incorporating hands-on practical tools and strategies. Here's how I envision it. So a deep dive into AI tools and automation. So training on AI tools like ChatGPT and Claude, tailored business strategy sessions. So personalized sessions to help me understand and implement business strategies, systemization and delegation. So modules that teach me how to set up systems that allow me to effectively delegate, um, marketing and sales conversion techniques, leadership and time management, the structure of the program. So a six month intensive, Format would be a mix of weekly live webinars, bi-weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching, mon monthly in-depth review sessions. Now, ChatGPT is not going to get everything perfect, but what it gives us is a really good head start and a really good place to start getting some good ideas about how to structure our offer in a way that's going to be very well received by our ideal clients. Gives us an idea of the time commitment, the flexibility of the program, right? Okay. How much would you pay for a solution to, I'm going to copy this. Everybody wants to know about pricing. How much would you pay for the solution to scaling your business? Now, sometimes chat GPT can give a little bit of pushback on this question, but if you just push it a little bit more and say, just give me a number, it will give you a number. Okay, and it usually does pretty well with the pricing. So for this one, um, for a group coaching for a six month group coaching program, it's pricing at between five and $10,000. So again, and it also explains depending on the expected ROI and kind of the other offerings and like what you add to the program that can vary the price. Okay. All right. Now this is a question, it sounds a little harsh, but it really helps us to build deep empathy with our ideal clients because these are things that they won't readily admit, but are usually there in their minds. So I'm going to copy this question. And the question is, do you feel ashamed or embarrassed about anything with, I'm going to put scaling your business, that you try to hide from other people? Now, the cool thing about AI is ChatGPT has no shame. So it will happily tell you all these things. Okay. So it talks about a sense of inadequacy about not being able to manage everything on my own anymore. Right. There's a part of me that worries that others might see it as a failure or a lack of capability on my part. Now, these are things we might not necessarily put directly into our marketing messaging, or maybe we do. 
But when we're talking to and communicating with our ideal clients, it's nice to know that these are some of the thoughts and things that are probably going through their head. And it really helps us to build a deep sense of empathy for what they're experiencing, right? And to create that space where they really feel like they can expand and grow. Okay. So just a couple more questions. So this is one that I really like. What are you saying to yourself in your own mind when it comes to pain point? If I could listen to your inner speech, what would I hear you saying to yourself? And I'm going to put for here, I'm going to put scaling your business. What's cool, I feel like with AI is we can ask like these really like juicy questions that a human might really struggle to answer, right? The chat GPT will just give it to us in this way that's like very clear. Okay, so doubt and worry. Can I really do this? What if I invest all this time and money and it doesn't pay off, right? Aspiration and goal setting. I need to make this work. I can see the bigger picture. I know where I want to be. I just need to find the right strategy and tools to get there. I want to be a leader in my field and inspire others, right? So it's really, really clear. So practical considerations. How can I better manage my time to focus on what really matters, right? Okay. Okay. And this is a final one. And we just throw this one in here because this is really great for sales. So this is, what are some of the red flag words or phrases that my non-ideal client might say in our sales conversation? So these are kind of things to look out for when we're thinking about, you know, when we're asking ourselves, is this person a really great fit for my program service offerings? Do I want to work with them? So anybody who's looking for a quick fix, I don't really believe in using technology in my business. For Lauren and I, that would be a huge red flag because <laughs> that's what we do. Um, how soon can I see results? So anybody who has done a lot of sales calls, I see Lauren nodding. <laughs> she knows this one. Um, I don't have time to implement strategies or attend sessions regularly. Now that's the sign of a person who just like, they're not going to be able to get results from your program or your offer, right? Um, can you lower your price or is that the best you can do? I just see Lauren kind of <laughs> nodding. <laughs> uh, I've tried everything and nothing works. Um, so while they might be looking for new solutions, this could also imply resistance to change or difficulty in adopting new methods. Okay. All right. So, okay. So that's our manual way for how you can talk to chat GPT. You can get a great transformation statement. This transformation statement can help you with everything. Once you have it, you just put that in the chat GPT and say, help me brain brainstorm content ideas, like help me with my sales script, because it has all that context in there for what you do, who you serve, and that kind of zero to hero state that you're getting them to. Okay. It's really powerful. Lauren and I use it all the time and it's very foundational. Yeah. And I'll add to that. And with the, the interview using chat GPT as your ideal client, I mean, the world is your oyster there. Ask any kind of question that you're curious about that you want support with, right? Whether it's around your ideal client or the messaging or how you structure your offer or do your sales strategy, um, really anything that you're wondering in your mind, feel free to ask ChatGPT. So explore and go deep and ChatGPT will get vulnerable with you if you do, which is just going to give you incredible insights. So have fun with it. Yeah. All right. So that is the very highly interactive with chat GPT way for everybody who's here on the call today. We have something very special we want to share with you. Um, it's a new product that we just developed. So there's all this stuff and all this information that we're generating from chat GPT. And one of the things we got asked a lot is like, this is great. Now, what do I do with it? You can save it. First of all, save it in the transformation statement worksheet. We actually have what we're calling our ideal client playbook. So again, our favorite quote, money and attention flow to the place of greatest clarity. That's Eleanor Beaton. What this does is this is a tool. I'm going to show you a form in a minute. You just put in a few inputs. All of the automations, the AI stuff runs in the background. And in minutes, you have delivered to your inbox your own personalized ideal client playbook. What's in here is you get your ideal client summary, which includes the three key factors, which is the one specific outcome that they're looking for. This is our ideal client playbook. So the one specific outcome they're looking for, the specific tipping point that they're at, 
where they cannot continue going the way that they've been going and they must make a change. And so they're ready for your services. So what is that tipping point where they're ready for your services? And then a short description of who your ideal client is, okay? Then the next page is all of their demographics and psychographics. Then we go into what are your biggest pain points? Now this is written in the voice of the ideal client from here on out. So biggest pain points, feeling stuck at my current income level, can't break through, too much work, not enough time, right? And all of these are like content marketing messaging gold, okay? What specific problems are you facing that I can solve? What are your biggest challenges related to my niche? What solutions have you tried in the past? Um, what do you feel is missing in the solutions that you've tried? That same question, is there anything you feel ashamed or embarrassed to admit? Then we get into desired outcomes. What is your number one biggest stretch goal that you, uh, that you dream of, that you want to have after my services, right? So it's like that number one biggest outcome that they want. What are the ultimate outcomes you want to achieve through my services? So like, what do, their, what do they want their transformed state to be like? What are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals? What's the impact of achieving these goals in your personal and professional life? Now we get into motivations for buying. So this is getting a little bit more into sales prep. So what triggers you to seek out a solution? Kind of where, what happens when you're at your tipping point? What are the emotional drivers behind your purchase decisions? How do you justify the investment to yourself and others? Now going down to objections and handlers. So this is really like for sales calls. So we give you the five most common objections and some suggested handlers. Now, we specifically send this to you in a Google Doc so that you can edit it, right? So that you can add to it if you see things that are missing. We say this is about 90 to 95% complete as is, right? And you can just come in and make those little tweaks and adjustments. So when you see the objection, you can adjust the handler here. We go down into preferred communication channels. So where do they spend their time online when they're looking for services like ours? Um, what are their preferred platforms? And then we go down into, oh, which thought leaders do you follow in my niche? So again, cluing you into like who they're following, where they are. Customer journey map. So how will you discover my brand? Which factors do you consider before making a decision? And what ultimately convinces you to make a purchase? And then down here at the bottom, this is a little bonus that we have for you. So these are some content prompts. You just put these into chat GPT one at a time, and it'll generate all kinds of content ideas for you. So you enter prompt number one, then prompt number two, then number three. And you can turn anything that's in this playbook into content and marketing ideas just by copying and pasting any topic from this playbook right down here into this final prompt. And so you have content for years. <laughs> Okay. Can yeah. I add something to this yeah, too? Yeah, please. So, you know, and one of the things I mentioned at the top of the presentation was that so many times as entrepreneurs, we don't have that like full clarity on who our true ideal client is. We can recognize when we work with a client, we're like, oh, we love working with them. Like, I want to work with more people like that. Um, and oftentimes, like I said, we kind of veer off the path because we, you know, have this need to earn money um, and keep the lights on. And so leveraging a tool like this is going to give you insights into truly who that ideal client is and who it isn't for you, right? So that you can start to make decisions that are truly in alignment with what you want to create. Okay. Yeah. So it's deeply, deeply powerful if you take the time to really do this and you can use a tool like this over and over again, because there might be shifts that you start to realize through the process of doing this kind of deeper market analysis and ideal client research, right? And it's something, but leveraging tools like this allows you to go through the process much faster, right? Than the typical, which it can take entrepreneurs years to figure, figure stuff out, right? And some never do. So anyway, that's why we're really excited and hope that these tools are incredibly supportive for you. Yeah. And yeah, speaking to that point of how long it takes, Filling out this form, it takes, from the time you start the form to the time you get your playbook, about 10 minutes. About five minutes to fill out the form and about five minutes to wait to get it in your email. So 
We're going to share this link with you, but I want to show you the form first. Okay, so the form is very simple. I've pre-filled this one out. Very straightforward. So you just put in your name, the email address that you want to deliver to, and then you fill in these blanks. I'm a job title, and you want your job title to be very clear and straightforward. You want ChatGPT and AI to be able to understand it. I know that some of us sometimes have more creative job titles, but we want it to just be very clear about what we do. I help ideal clients. So you just very explicitly say who they are. So established high ticket female online service providers, like coaches, consultants, and course creators. In this section, when you're where who your ideal client is, female online service providers isn't descriptive enough because that's such a broad topic. So in parentheses, I put a couple of examples to really kind of give ChatGPT that extra little bit of context that these are online coaches, consultants, and course creators, because that's a very specific type of ideal client. Down here, your specialty, this is where you talk about kind of what it is that you do, your services, and the results. So for us, my specialty is using AI tools like ChatGPT and Claude to clarify their offer and messaging by deeply understanding their ideal client and positioning their offer to align it with the desired results of their ideal clients so they can increase their sales conversion rate, generate more leads, and increase their cash flow. So in specialty, this is just where you talk a little bit more about the specifics of what it is that you actually do. Then just click generate and give it, it's really about five to 10 minutes. The automation is running in the background. Chat GPT is writing out all the text. About five to 10 minutes later, you will get an email with your playbook. It's going to look something like this. Okay. And then, yeah, we encourage you, it will come to you in a Google doc, read through it, highlight anything that really jumps out at you. Um, make any edits or changes that you want to add, subtract. It's your document. So, all right.